We're in the Game Tech booth at GDC 2019 where we're going to look at a solution for one of the more challenging uh, problems with mobile game development, and that is testing. Tons of platforms, all those different phones. It's got to be a way to uh, solve that so that you can instantly or more quickly know whether or not your project is running. And I'm here with Michael Gwynn, he's one of the SDEs who works with our solution. All right, so what I'm showing off here is uh, the rapid iteration and testing of mobile devices through Lumberyard. So I have a device connected here, and this is a physical local device. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a quick change to our starter game here. I, I'm just going to open up um, my UI editor. I'm going to pick our starter game splash screen and make a quick change to that. We'll just change it over here to bright red. Okay, and I'm going to save that close and we're going to deploy to local device. Uh, right here we have our local device selected. Um, you can pick which one you want. If you need to build, you can build the game. If you need to clean the device first, you can do that. So we're going to hit deploy here and let Lumberyard do its work. Now if you wanted to test a device you didn't have physical access to, then you would hit this tab here under our deployment options for AWS Device Farm. And you can click select from different device pools where you have top devices, most used devices, you can sort by uh, manufacturer, by operating system. And you would choose the devices you want to test for, deploy to device farm, and end up getting your status result coming back. Over in your AWS device farm, you have all of the devices you've tested for, the results of your tests. Uh, you can see screenshots from each test on each device, you get video, you get all of your output, your log cat, your console, all of that captured. So if you see a problem or you get a test failure, you can easily track down on a specific device where that problem is, make sure you have support. And we can see it's been less than two minutes and our change here for our local device has already been pushed through. So that just shows how, how quickly you can iterate for mobile devices and see your changes reflected and debug problems and issues you might run into. So this is awesome. If you've ever developed on mobile and you're a QA lead, you know that the matrix of devices and, and their different OSs, especially once you get into Android, can be a real, uh, a real challenge to get overcome, right? How thorough and, I mean, how do we update the uh, database on AWS such that I can virtualize all that? And can I make a, you know, a clean matrix and then run against that with a, with a QA team? Uh, so the AWS device farm, these are all physical devices that are actually located in a data center. Wow. So that this was Amazon themselves that when a new device is released, like a Samsung Galaxy 11, Amazon will acquire that device, go add it to their data center, and then it will show up here in your list. You just say, I want to test for that. And Hold on, that's crazy. So it's not a virtualized, it's actually the piece of hardware. So we know, so you can feel really comfortable as a producer or as a QA lead, like, okay, wow, it's working. That's awesome. Yeah. Yeah, it's uh, all physical devices. No and, and screenshots through all of that. Yes, screenshots, video, and all of your console and logcat output. Okay, if you're wondering, like, I produced a couple of mobile games, and the thought of being able to do that and not having to run through, like, all the different permutations is, like, that's actually a huge, huge time saver. Yes, yes it is, very much. So is that exclusively through Lumberyard? The AWS device farm is available uh, as an AWS service. It's just the Lumberyard engine has it integrated already and ready for you to use. Wow, okay, so that's one, e one great way that Game Tech is solving problems, especially for mobile developers. Quick testing, it's so important, especially in the mobile world, to be able to know that when your game gets out there, it's going to run on all the platforms. Hope you'll stick around. We'll be right back with more from the Game Tech booth at GDC 2019.